Our father, Pastor Chris Oyakilomi, has this admonition to give to us about marriage. He said, After salvation, the most important choice you will need to make is who you marry. This choice is so important that if you miss it, you will suffer for long. If you get it right, then you will enjoy forever. A bad marriage can affect every other area of your life. This subject is so important. So many married people are hoping to be single again so as to make the right decision. If you're single, please don't just be in a hurry to get married. You have the best opportunity to prepare for it. For two people to come together to live in peace and harmony, they must agree spiritually, mentally, and physically. Just like an elephant cannot marry an ant, so also a believer cannot marry an unbeliever. If an elephant marries an ant, how would they live? If a goat marries a fish, where would they meet? You must look for a godly man or a godly woman to marry. Nothing can beat this. The devil's primary target is the family. He knows that everyone belongs to a family and if you can make two wrong people meet, then he has succeeded in affecting the community and nations negatively. Ignore your age and the pressure for a moment. The pressure in a wrong marriage is far worse. God has somebody for you, but you must set your priorities right. What do you need in a woman? What do you need in a man? Marriage is not about what you want. It is about who you need, and that will make you better while you make him or her better. It is about destiny. That is why you must know your spouse before you get married. Genesis 2 verse 18. You must pray before you choose. God has the best person for you. It is only wise to seek his will. It is very easy to know God's will when sex is not involved. The moment sex is involved and you want to know his will, then he will blank you out. Why? Because you have broken his first law of no sex before marriage. If you have had sex in the past, then you need to repent totally and stay away from each other for some time. Then you can seek his face again. Your marriage will not be hell on earth. Your marriage will be honorable in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't marry for sex. Don't marry because you're of age. Don't marry because you're getting old. Don't marry because you're lonely. Don't marry because you need someone to support you financially. Don't marry because you mistakenly got pregnant. Don't marry because you don't want to lose the person. Don't marry because of family pressures. Don't marry because you like the idea of marriage and admire every wedding gown you see. Don't marry because all your friends are getting married, but get married because you want to fulfill destiny. Get married because you want to be a helpmate. As a man, get married because you want to fulfill your purpose. God will help you in choosing. Please. Let his will be done in your life. Amen. God bless you. Credit, Heavenly Mandate TV.